Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk all about coffee and endometriosis. So stay tuned because it's going to be some revelation out there. Guys, I hope you're not going to shoot me because, you know, those who are bringing bad news, they are often being shot like the messengers. So don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to tell you how it is with absolutely no bullshit. So, you know, and what you're going to do with this information there is just literally up to you. And guys, coffee is something what I was struggling with for a very long time. I have to say that I started drinking coffee when I was 13 and I gave up three years ago. So pretty much like all my life, more than 20 years, guys, I've been drinking coffee and I've been drinking coffee, not just like once a day. I was like a proper addict. Seriously, I had to drink a coffee first time in the morning just to wake up then drink another coffee straight after that uh, just to uh, literally function and then i had this crush this coffee crush at 3 p.m i don't know if you can relate <laughs> at 3 p.m i have to take another coffee just to uh, survive till like 6 p.m you know or 8 p.m on my graveyard shift i don't know if you can relate to that but that was pretty bad guys that was very very bad and I remember that I got addicted to the point that I didn't even um, taste the difference of the coffee beans before I could literally tell you that this one is Arabica and this one is like, you know, Colombiana or whatever. But I got to the point that I could drink literally the shittest coffee, the cheapest, the shittest coffee, as long as it had caffeine. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but if you are in this stage, it's been, it's very bad and you need to stop, seriously. And guys, I know that there's like a lot of researchers that saying the coffee is good for you. But what I want you to understand that these researches are mostly uh, carried on by the institutes which are literally paid by the coffee companies. And I'm not kidding you. I'm seriously kidding you not. We are living in the times which you have to literally fact check everything. And if you see any research, please just check which this company is, you know, related to who sponsored this. Because as you can see here, peer-reviewed journals supposed to be reviewed by all the health professionals who agree with it. You know, all these doctors, they have to agree to whatever research it is. And as you can see, you know, the big food companies, the sugar company in this case, literally managed to bribe the scientists and they published the fake reviews. So what is the truth about coffee? <laughs> I think the coffee as a drug is absolutely genius and the marketing of it is absolutely genius as well. Seriously, think about it. Uh, how amazing that would be if we had the drug which is accessible for everyone, which gives you um, like energy bus and which is basically the new norm, like everyone does it and no one question it. That would be amazing, isn't it? And then, you know, this drug literally affects your sleep, but affects your sleep to the point that you're waking up and feeling tired. And then you have to take this drug again to be able to function for the rest of the day. How brilliant is that? Why the coffee is bad for you, you might ask. Well, there's the two big uh, reasons which you especially as the endo girl have to keep it in mind one of it is because the coffee is affecting your deep sleep level and this is very very crucial if you're trying to get healthy not just from endometriosis but from any any in any illness why is that important because your body is healing when you're sleeping this is where your body heals seriously it's healing in your deep sleep level and when this deep sleep is affected, your body is not able to heal properly. This research 
actually shows that uh, coffee is uh, responsible for formation of the ovarian cyst. which was the big thing for me and that was the one of major reasons of why i stopped drinking coffee so what you can do <laughs> uh, how to quit the coffee you cannot quit the coffee especially when you're a heavy drinker you cannot quit coffee from monday to tuesday because you're addicted and like with every drug you have to do it step by step like with uh, girls in my program how i'm making them quit the coffee basically uh, for the one week before we supplement a lot with the vegetables we literally supplement a lot with greens uh, we introduced the green smoothie if you're not drinking green smoothie yet please start doing it because it's just literally amazing so that literally contributes to your energy you're gonna have naturally more energy you might ask what yola if i'm actually going to swap the normal coffee for the decaf coffee i'm going to tell you it's not going to make any difference to be honest uh, because decaf coffee is actually worse than normal coffee in my opinion and why is that it's not just about the coffee and it's about the way how it's been produced how do you think it looks like when they extract the caffeine from the coffee like wh what do you think they're doing are they doing this with the filters, waiting patiently for coffee to drip? Did they? F what they doing? They are using the sodium uh, carbonate and they are using uh, methane to actually chemically extract the coffee. So whatever is left is literally like very chemically filtered horrible thing which don't even taste as a coffee so what they do they add the special uh, additives to the coffee to make it taste and smell like a coffee if this you know extracted thing is is just literally horrible horrible looking and horrible tasting if you think that giving up the coffee it actually makes you feel uncomfortable girl i'm gonna tell you this is actually the wake up call that you have to give up the coffee even like for two weeks or one month just to see the difference the moment when you're thinking oh my god i cannot give up this one thing is the moment you actually have to realize that you're addicted and you have to do something about it because i seriously believe that you are stronger than any stupid addiction in this life you got this you really 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 got this and to actually prove it to you that i managed to get off the coffee here is the picture <laughs> And I remember that that was pretty rough shift and I mean like 14 hours shift and I was literally giving up a coffee and as always Yola was laughing from the people with uh, migraines I didn't take it seriously and I was literally laughing with the people that day I had the most horrible the worst ever migraine in my life my head was literally pumping i couldn't focus i couldn't function i felt so horrible and so much like shit. i actually my uh, asked my colleague to take a picture so every time when i want to go back to coffee i look at this picture and remember so this is the picture if you like this video click the like button share it and subscribe I will see you in next Monday. I love you all. Bye. And now I'm supposed to do some silly thing. And I strangle myself with my own microphone. Classic.